if you have a 5075e probably any tractor period but this is my tractor 5075e the hydraulics on it um when you had go to lift the loader it just uh, 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 jerk steering was crap um transmission clutch all that was jerking i i got underneath there but there's a i can show you right here but right there is a hydraulic filter it's underneath what us americans call the passenger side the right side of the tractor it's a hydraulic filter just external like an oil filter i changed it my oil my hydraulic oil in here was cloudy like um it's like it aerated real frothy and everything and i was told by a guy that used to work for john deere he was like if you mix hydraulic fluids they're high guard or whatever it is with the other cheaper stuff said so sometimes they'll froth up like that whether or not that's true i don't know but um mine was frothy but there's also a screen a sump screen right here you take that bolt and that bolt out that pulls out and there's a metal pipe in there and it's like a it's about that big um inch and a half and the thing's probably two foot long it runs way on up in there but it like goes up on a pipe in there and uh it's got a wire mesh a fine wire mesh around it and it sort of keeps the debris and all from sucking the big stuff from sucking up in your uh hydraulic filter and stopping it up you know it's like a pre-filter but uh mine whenever it frothed up like that it um man it it gummed that thing up it looked like a big old snot or loogie or something around it and everything like i mean it wasn't sticking off but it was up in them grooves and it wasn't letting it suck oil in there um i just pulled it out if you go to the John Deere place, that thing's like 150 bucks, I think, or something, 150, 170 dollars. I called them down there just so I'd know the price and everything, and they said they didn't even have one in stock. They said, "Man, why don't you just wash it out?" I was like, "Well, I'm going to, but I wanted to make sure if it had any holes or if it was collapsed or anything like that. They had one or something." He was like, "Man, we ain't got one. We have to order it." I said, "Well." any which way so i pulled it out and uh what i did was i took a water hose and i just set it down on the ground with the pipe up and i just washed the outside and then i stuck it on the inside and washed it oh uh, well at first i stuck it on the hose on the inside and it was so stopped up water wouldn't come out of it so you know hydraulic oil ain't gonna come out but i had to put it on the outside i did that and then when i got done doing that i uh, took some gas and poured on it well i slung it around tried to get most of the water out and then i poured gas in there because gas will evaporate and it'll evaporate moisture and all in my opinion a little better and i don't want a whole bunch of water in my hydraulic oil i mean it wouldn't have been much you know a teaspoon or something but um still yet yeah, i don't want no more water or anything in my hydraulics or my engine than i gotta have but yeah do that if you're having jerky motion with your hydraulics check that sump screen you can probably check it and not even worry about changing your filter but you got to do that and also before you pull that out there is a plug underneath the rear end back here it's just right in front of this thing right up underneath there i'm not crawling underneath there because there's rocks and crap but um i think it took a 27 millimeter wrench something like that but uh you take it break it loose this unit here holds like 11 gallons i use three five gallon buckets i caught all my oil and uh, just put it underneath there and whenever i got about a third two thirds i mean of a five gallon bucket i screwed my plug in slid a bucket to the side slid another bucket under unscrewed it and let her drain until it got about two-thirds full 
and you're good to go. And then of course up here, you got your, um, where you fill it and all that, check it. I got lines plumbed in to go to my grapple on the front, got a grapple on the back. <laughs> Man, this thing is a pulling machine. You can pull logs and everything and then grab it. Good to go. It's very handy. Be careful with a front grapple with logs though. Don't pick it up real high and don't get great big ones because it will turn you over. I normally just use this whenever I'm like log logging. <laughs> we got plenty of trees and all out here. I'll take and I can drag it out like that. Then I can grab the logs because I'll cut them to length 10, 12, 16 foot, whatever I got to have and it makes it easier. Then I don't scar up all the trees and the wood and all. Yeah, I gotta go in and out more, but I don't scar it all up. Then I can grab all the limbs and all, but I was cutting trees, them pine trees right over there. We're gonna clear cut all them on the driveway and uh, we was felling them in the yard, or I was. And um, I was taking and dumping them over in the pasture and then going and putting them in the burn pile. But, uh, yeah the jerkiness do that change it this uh your hydraulic pump if that don't fix it your hydraulic pump is right here and at john deere that hydraulic pump is eighteen hundred dollars they told me so hydro that high guard hydraulic oil that stuff is a hundred and fifteen hundred and twenty dollars for a five gallon bucket it cost me like two hundred and fifty dollars to get enough oil to put back in this thing 11 gallons so you know it is what it is i put the high guard back in they say it'll make a difference i don't know um but it's what john deere had so i'll put it back in there don't really matter this thing ain't under warranty or nothing i mean it's I think it's a 15 model so that makes it like nine years old or something maybe a 16 somewhere right around in there but um i put it in there whenever i change i just go to john deere get an oil and oil filter i mean i change my oil like once a year sometimes i change it twice a year i mean uh every other year but i try to change it once a year even if i put a hundred hours on it because oil and oil filters cheap in my opinion and oil will break down over a year's time once you run it and it gets hot and everything but i mean i don't i'm not no stickler that i'm going to change it on april the first every year or every 200 hours or anything like that but i very rarely this thing's got a thousand hours on it so it's not like i really put 200 hours a year on it i usually put 100 maybe 150 so I just change it roughly once a year. I changed it today. It's July. I usually change it in the spring when it's cool, but I ain't changed it. I had back problems and everything else. So, you know, whenever you get around to it, it's good. But yeah, jerkiness, do that. And we'll see you on the next one. Y'all have a good one.